a murder most foul with many still unwilling to accept can a mother really kill her toddler child suchana seth who's now been under arrest by the goa police has been charged with killing her 4 year old toddler son one of the reasons as it appears prime officer she did not want the husband or the ex husband basically to get the custody of this child now we are getting more murky details coming in from what appears to be a strained marital relationship that led to the loss of life of a child a 4 year old son now according to the lawyers sochana sets ai startup of which she was allegedly the ceo it was her own startup in artificial intelligence the startup doesn't even exist and she was dabbling between multiple uh, professions and multiple occupations to earn a living according to the lawyer Suchana and husband's divorce as was believed earlier to have happened in 2020 does not happen has not happened on paper where of course it is confirmed that they are officially separated Suchana had got married in 2010 son was born in 2019 the couple separated according to her by 2020 so the year after the child was born the couple had separated after 10 years of marriage but it appears divorce not officially on paper and among and because of the couple's strained relationship allegedly she's now been charged of killing her son that little child you see in the pictures of course we have blurred the identity of the victim but to imagine that uh, and what led her to take this extreme step sagai raj is joining me for the latest on that sagai put us this in perspective many are questioning and i'm a mother myself and of a child of a similar age it's absolutely unimaginable that a woman could take a step like that and yet suchana seth has been charged with the same what are the investigators looking at at this of a reason that led her to take this step because there are a lot of details she wasn't even a ceo of a startup that didn't exist because we as it appeared she appeared to be a successful career woman sagai absolutely she is one amongst those 100 women who were successful and who were brilliant and recognized in the year 2020 by by one of those uh, uh, worldwide uh, uh, platform and after that uh, she had a self claim that she is a ceo of a mindful.ai company and uh, she was trying to establish company in massachusetts as well as in bengaluru and uh, when we try to check out uh, she, there is no company which has been existing the last time she came to that particular office was 2021 and it was a co-working place and apart from that the uh, what we get to learn is from the police department that they are also verifying uh, about our personal details and the address which she, she has shared it is the address of her husband and she had come there 6 months ago and they are also checking her mindset whether there was any kind of distress or stress that she was going uh, because, sorry there was any kind of stress that she was going through because of uh, this uh, uh, process of divorce which is going on in the court whether she was unhappy with this particular procedure which has been followed in the court and what actually transpired for her to take this particular decision because she want to execute this particular murder she brought the son to goa and go, uh, took him to a resort and stayed there and killed him and then and the and the last photograph that she shared on instagram clearly shows that she she was quite depressed what going to happen with the son whether he is going to be with her or with him hmm. or any other reward it which might come from the court so probably she was mentally disturbed with all those things and hmm. that is one of the reasons why she might have done this what we also get to learn from our police sources is she also tried to commit suicide by cutting her uh, hmm. hand but later on she decides against that packs the body in the luggage hmm. and goes to bengaluru remember while coming she might have taken a different transport hmm. uh, different board of transport but while going back to bangalore she hired a car where she agreed to pay huge amount of money to drop her in bangalore and that's when she gets caught because the police gets the details of the car and ask the car driver to uh, 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 take her to the nearest uh, police station in chitradurga and yes. later on she was being arrested